My name is Mary Gonzalez. I'm a graduate of Clint High School 2001. If you would have told me seven years ago that I would be standing here as State Representative Mary Gonzalez, I would have never believed you. It was really never exactly in my plan. I went to UT Austin, I became a professor, uh, I loved teaching, I loved the classroom, but when this opportunity opened up, I really remember back at my time here in Clint, it really showed me what it meant to not just think about a job as a money-making opportunity, but as an opportunity to give back to the community. So I decided to run for state representative, mostly because the character and the values that I learned here in Clinton ISD at Clinton High School about giving back to the community. And so now I'm really proud that I have been the state representative for six years. And I work on issues like protecting our public schools or valuing the agriculture community or making sure that everyone can go to college because uh, I just want to give back to the community that gave me so much. Hi, I'm Patty Diaz graduate of Clint High School. I was very invested in band though. I was what they called a band geek. Um, so I devoted a lot of my time to playing the clarinet. And my senior year, I was the drum major uh, for the Clinton High School Mighty Lion Band. But even back in high school, I like to talk and I like to socialize and that's what I do today. So I grew up in Clint, uh, starting in fourth, fifth grade, uh, they offered recorders music program at the elementary school level. And that really was, um, helped me develop my love for music because by the time I got to junior high, um, although I tried out to be a drummer because you know the drummers are the cool ones, <laughs> I didn't make it. So uh, I took up the clarinet uh, and I played that all through junior high and they offered the one-on-one -on -one, um, lessons with, uh, a tutor for, for band, so to speak. Being at Clinton was formative um, for my music, for my love for music. And that's led to me spending my life now just immersed in music and working for a radio station in El Paso. Good morning, uh, my name is Nikki Boutwell. I am a graduate of Clinton High School, class of 2000, and now I'm currently an ag science teacher here at Clinton High School. So um, when I was a member of FFA, um, I was able to travel all over the state. FFA just made me um, aware of things that were outside of our area. I was able to get uh, scholarships and um, I was able to compete at a collegiate level on a livestock judging team, which if I wasn't a member of FFA, I would have never had that exposure or made those contacts. And so I was able to uh, not only pursue my degree in agriculture um, at college, but I was able to actually um, employ those things later on after high school and after college. So I really feel like I got started by having the exposure and the opportunity to travel, uh, make contacts and um, compete in competitions against, you know, some really great people that were um, really uh, pushing me and challenged me um, at the high school level to pursue my education in agriculture. Uh, Margie Olivas, I went to Mountain View High School and graduated in 1994. Uh, when I was in high school, I was very shy, but I did participate in theater, debate, and UIL competitions. Okay, so since I was shy, participating in UIL and theater helped me to become more self-confident and learn how to speak out in public, uh, learn, learn how to interact with people which is uh, what I do currently when I go out and review uh, schools. I work with the Department of Agriculture and I currently review schools. Prior to that, I did 15 years of working at daycare centers. The way that the activities that I participated in in school helped me was again learning how to interact with people, um, learning how to speak publicly, be more confident in myself so that I can get my point across. My name is Edna de la Fuente. I graduated from Mountain View High School in 2011. My greatest accomplishment at Mountain View High School was graduating valedictorian of my class. And till this day, I hold that very true to my heart because of all the effort and work that it took that I now hope to pass on to my students. My experience in high school and why I decided to teach, I think about certain people but one teacher in particular would be Ms. Gonzalez, my yearbook teacher in high school. She cared so much about us and far more than teaching us about editorials, newspapers, images, and so on. She made sure that we had a safe and comfortable space in which to grow. 
And it is precisely that classroom and that environment that I wanted to replicate for so many of the kids that I know don't have a stable home or a happy life. And so I wanted them to have that one place where they could be themselves, comfortable, happy, and know that somebody loved them. Hi, my name is Salma Villela, and I went to Planned Early College, and I graduated in 2016. Very appreciative of being part of the Clean Early College Academy. Like I have mentioned previously, all their uh, rigor in the academics and all of their support uh, got me to where I am today. So I'm very appreciative. I understand that some students get discouraged because we don't have sports or band. However, in the long run, the pay is more worth it than being in a sport or in a band because I was able to graduate early from UTEP and have my bachelor's degree and also um, start my graduate program. Uh, during my high school years, um, all of my teachers and my principal encouraged me to get out of my comfort zone and reach out to professors as I was going to EPCC as well. So when I uh, went to UTEP, I was able to study abroad and I actually went to Mexico City and did some research on environmental issues. So I can see how that helped me during my high school years to be successful as an uh, undergraduate student in the University of Texas at El Paso. My name is Jesus Melendez. Uh, I graduated in 2006, the first graduating class of Horizon High School. I am currently a social studies teacher and I am also the varsity officer line coach. I would say there's several teachers. Uh, back when I was in Carlton Welch, uh, I had my first encounter with Mr. Jurado. He's an individual that really supported me, really pushed me, really uh, helped me uh, understand that, they were, that I had to push myself if I wanted to be someone. I, I, think, I think it was just the fact that they still had a, such a big impact on me that I wanted to, I wanted to do that for somebody else. Uh, they, they were able to push me and they give me uh, a different perspective on what are some of the things that I could do. And coming from a, a community where, you know, sometimes, you know, you don't know what's going to, you know, what you're going to eat for dinner or, or, you know, when, when the next meal is going to come from. Uh, I think, I think kids need an opportunity to be exposed to somebody that was in their shoes and, and could really show them that, hey, if they could do it, then I could do it. Uh, my name is uh, Paolo Melendez. I am currently the head football coach here at Horizon High School. Oh, I, you know, incoming, incoming freshmen, transfer kids, uh, our current students here at Horizon High School, um, they have such a wonderful opportunity to, to grow, uh, make a name for themselves. Um, the options here at Horizon High School are now uh, so much more than what we used to have, so it's very evident that we're growing, um, we have new ideas, um, so this is really the school of choice. I am a uh, Horizon High School grad, class of uh, 2010, um, very proud alumnus here, uh, very happy to be back in the role that, I'm, that I have currently hold, so um, when I look back to my high school years, uh, one, the building has changed completely. Um, it's uh, evident Clint ISD has invested uh, a lot into the uh, Horizon High School uh, feeder pattern with the uh, improvements that they've done to the infrastructure of the school. Hi, my name is Verna Melendez. I graduated from Horizon High School, class of 2006. The reason high school made me successful was because of my teachers, honestly. Uh, they, not only my teachers, but also my principal. Uh, they guided us to, I guess, the right direction. So they really directed the path to go to college. Well, it's amazing that my brother-in-law and my husband and I are working for the Clint District. Um, and the reason is, is because we're home and we know what the kids are going through daily because we lived it. We drove down the same streets they're driving down and we went to the same classes they're going to. Growing up and going to school in Horizon, like I said, it was a true family. Uh, the teachers really watched us grow and they became my role models. And that's what I want to do for the younger generations.